And another one. Oh, I think it's an Ingersoll. Don't hold against me. You guys know I like these. I put up a poll. If you haven't seen my poll using the new YouTube polling, check it out. Let me know which one you think. Put in the comments if you like others. Yup, Ingersoll. No idea what this one is. Could be an automatic. Could be a quartz. Don't know. No clue. We're going to find out. Oh, that is sweet. Okay. I bought an Armstrong. I already have one. Scoville. But it's got a chain. It's got a bracelet. All right. Let's watch this video. All right, guys, so hopefully you like that video. It's the same one I put on all my Ingersoll videos. Now, I know what you're thinking. Come on, Todd, another one? And yes, actually, this will probably be the third time I've done this uh, same watch, effectively, or, or pretty close to it. Now, um, I'm just going to get right to it, right? Most of the people that look at this are going to think, oh, this is a an homage to the Speedmaster. Now, I have a few um, Omegas, right? I've got my 1963 Omega Seamaster. I've got uh, my Ayrton Senna um, Calibre 16. So, you know, I, I'm i well versed on <clears throat> the, the Omegas, and this is not an homage. Although it does look somewhat similar, I'll put a picture here so you can see what it looks like. Now, I don't think it's intended to um, really copycat it. I mean, the fact that it says Ingersoll is very clear. Um, but it is a good look, and that's one of the reasons why I, uh, I bought this watch. Um, now, this one in particular, right? This one in particular, this is model number. It's always on the back. 
I zero no, it's I O six two zero one. Oddly enough, uh, it's not the only one that I have, as you know. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> wearing one now. This one came with a leather strap, uh, and I put this canvas strap, which honestly I like a lot better than the leather one. It just looks better, um, and this is the uh, I O. 6202. Now the difference between this, this one has a bracelet, this one's supposed to have a leather strap, which I didn't which I didn't take. Um, but before I get too far into this watch, let me talk about this. So as you know, all the new Ingersolls as of I think 2012, something like that, they all come in this box. Um, it's actually a very nice box. Well, I'll put this on backwards. Goodness, and that's what happens when I put it. I put it on backwards. There we go. Yeah, so it's actually uh, real wood. It's not like plastic and faux wood, but it, it's actually real. I mean, it's it's nice. It comes with a couple different things. Um, I'm just going over because I haven't done one of these Ingersolls in a while. It comes with this uh, pewter plate, which is the warranty and authenticity card. Um, there's not much to it. I don't know, you can make it a paperweight for your, we'll just put that right there. <laughs> but you can make it a paperweight for your desk. Um, it's got the instructions of the things. Now, there is a, believe it or not, there is a lifetime warranty on all Ingersoll's as of 2014, right? All the quartz ones as of 2014, lifetime warranty. Now that's, it's not insignificant. Now that doesn't mean, of course, that you're going to be able to just, uh, <clears throat> oh, it stopped working. I'm sending it in, right? Batteries, they don't cover batteries, but from defects, defects because the watch has failed, they will take care of that. Um, I'm going to get right into the watch now because uh, I've already pretty much beaten it to death uh, before. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, it's a chronograph. Let me see if I can adjust this. Give me a minute. Okay, uh, it's um, unfortunately the the ring. It's it's a curved curved um, crystal, which is actually uh, three layer coated. Uh, it's it's mineral crystal with three layers of sapphire coating. So it's just like the Vengers where they superheat sapphire and place it on there. But it's kind of nice. So you've got the sixty minute counter at the nine o'clock location. You've got the second counter which is a sub-second at the six o'clock location. Um, on the three o'clock, you have got the one-tenths uh, second counter, and the central second is the actual second chronograph. So I'm just gonna give an example. I'm gonna go ahead and start it so you can see. And it's actually kind of nice. It is quartz, but it works almost to the smoothness of a mechanical watch, which I think is very nice. It's such a great look to it. And the um, bezel, 120 clicks all the way around. Very nice, very smooth, easy to use. Um, I, I really love this watch. It's why I've gotten so many of these. And um, I'm just gonna give my source away now that I've pretty much bought every one of every single um, Ingersoll that they have. I get them from a shop called D Exclusive Fashion. So believe it or not, this is a very expensive watch um, for a, a low priced quality watch. I paid $99 for this. Now the MSRP, I believe, I believe, don't quote me, I believe the MSRP is about $695. Now I'll correct it and I'll put it right up there at the top what the actual MSRP is, because I'm just kind of going off memory. Um, but it's, it's a fantastic watch. I mean, you get such high quality with these Ingersolls for the price that you pay. These are solid links, 316 stainless steel. The case is 316 stainless steel. It is a uh, laser etched uh, screw down uh, case back. Um, <clears throat> everything, I mean, the links are fantastic. The crown, it is a screw down crown, which I'll get into later. Um, on the chronograph again, you can see that after, I think it's the first minute, the tenths of a second counter stops. But then once I hit it, 
it'll go to whatever that tenth of the second was. So if you're actually counting something, you can use it. So, but I'm going to reset it. So love this watch. Now, um, the, <clears throat> the date is at the four, what, four 2025, um, location. Uh, and I think that's about it for, for the features. It is a 100 meter, uh, water resist, which is actually quite nice because, you know, hundred meters is perfect really uh, for, for what you're going to do. Um, anything that you're going to want to do with this watch, hundred meters is perfect. You can basically go swimming all day long with it. Um, and which is, which is impressive because <clears throat> now it does have a, you know, a screw down crown, like I mentioned, right. Which assists with water, water resistance. And it's not, it's not garbage. It's, it's, it's quite good. Um, but it also has these, uh, the start and stop, start, stop, reset, uh, buttons also. And usually you don't always get 100 meter water resistant unless it's like a pretty decent watch that's a chronograph. Um, most 100 meter water resist and other watches are going to be um, uh, non-chronograph for what it's worth. Now, I'm gonna get into the reason why I bought this watch. So, I didn't realize it had a deployment class. Uh, I'm not actually a huge fan of that. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I have several watches that have deployment class I bought this because I wanted the steel bracelet because it looks good. It looks good with the steel bracelet. It, it does. Um, and that's what I wanted because it's like, it, it's, it's the look that I like, right? The Omega Speedmaster is something I can wear and not be too concerned about it. Um, but I'm not a fan of the deployment clasp. I really prefer like this uh, Tag Heuer. You know, I listed, I listed this as an Omega. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I did this. This is a Tag Heuer. I'm sorry. But yeah, so I like this kind of clasp. I, the, the normal butterfly clasp. I prefer that. Um, but it's a deployment, so it is what it is. I kept it. It's okay. It's comfortable. Um, I keep it a little bit loose, but it's not bad. Um, I like it. I'll do the measurements, even though I think we've already... my All my other videos on this already have it but might as well it's a decent size 40 i'm comfortable saying 43 the lug and you remember you can remove it right because i had leather straps on it and i've got these quick release um ones and i wear this mowing the lawn whatever okay the lug is 22 the depth I'm gonna say 14. Oh, 15.7. So we'll say a good 16. And the lug to lug, excuse me, about 45, 44.5. So this is a very nice watch and there are still several available on eBay right now. Um, some of them from D Exclusive Fashion. Again, that's not my store, but um, I have bought pretty much all of my Ingersolls from them. Now, just to be clear, some of the ones that you're going to buy may have cloudy faces, and I'll put the video to that up at the top so you can see it. <clears throat> that just happens because the watches have sat in storage for long periods of time, and uh, that happens from the off-gassing off of the oil. Uh, you do have to open it up, and you got to remove the movement and then clean the inside with a cloth like this. Um, cheap to do, but if you're not familiar with what you're doing, don't do it because you could ruin it. Last thing you want to do is bend the hands. Um, but this is a very high quality watch and that's why I keep buying them. Um, I forget, but I also have another one that is a mechanical version. I'll put some pictures up there so you can see them as well. I'll put it up here so you can see. You can see the comparison. I'll do a shot of the front because it's basically the same case, but it is a bronze version, one that I actually really, really like. Uh, it's one, also one of my favorite watches. And then I'll show you the back, which is essentially the same as this, um, but again, it's bronze. But I think if I remember correctly, this is <clears throat> this is uh, still stainless, but you can see through it because it's got the display window. 
So, all right, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. I always appreciate it. Thank you very much.